How's it going, everybody? Got some breaking news. I'm sure everybody will be excited about. Now, here, you take a look for yourselves and tell me what this looks like. What does that look like right there, Runner? That's 5.0.2. 4.1.0 right there. What does that look like? Because to me, that looks like Nintendo DS. If I'm not mistaken, you tell me. Yes, it is. Nintendo DS, you guys. Now, I'm sure you guys want to get this running. It's not 100%. I'd say it's not running as well as Game, Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color or anything like that. Listen to that audio. The frame rate's pretty low, too. But it's all good. We're getting there. It's progress. Everyone likes some progress. I'm going to show you how to do this quickly in the video in just a moment. I'm going to turn this audio down. As you can tell, it's not perfect. Got Donkey Kong running over here. Push start. Oh, got my pro controller. Just to show the pro controller is working. And audio. Like I said, it's not 100%, but if you want to see them games running and loading, you have your opportunity. Now I'm going to show you in just a second how to get this running. Let's see if we can get into an actual battle. Donkey Kong. Pro Controller. As you can see, it's working. Start button, everything. Come on, let's stop all this writing. Let's get into a battle. Are we done talking? Remember what your mother said. Oh yeah, don't go into the tall grass. I wasn't reading it last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So we're supposed to be going somewhere? I haven't played this game in a long time. I forgot where we're supposed to go. Obviously, we have to stay out of the grass. So let me see if I can find my way around. As you can see, it's not running 100% at all. But you can increase the frame skip, which is a good thing. So first, to get the Nintendo DS running on your beloved Nintendo Switch, you will have to... Go to this website in the description right here, and you will download D E S M U M E slash N X dot zip. Now, once you download and unzip that file, you will end up with this file right here D, -A -D E S M U M E. Now, you will take your micro SD card from your Nintendo Switch. You will plug it into your computer. You will go to the root of your SD card, your micro SD card. You will go to the Switch folder. Now, you will copy and paste that file over here. Now once that's done, if you go within that file, there's a ROMs folder. This is where you stick your ROMs. So now you know where to put them. There's your NRO file, it's within here. Keep everything together and you should be good to go. Now, remember, you have to go to this website up here at the top. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Once you download that file, the DESMUME-NX.zip. You un 
unpack that file or unzip that file, you will end up with your DESMUME file. You copy and paste that into the switch file on your micro SD card to show you real quick. Go into your micro SD, go into your switch folder, and this is where you want to copy and paste that. Your ROMs go within there in the ROMs folder, and you're good to go. Now, once you're up and running, you can start playing some games. Audio is not perfect. Some games run better than others. You do have the option to turn off audio if you push X when you're in the menu loading the game. You also have the option to press left or right to change the frame skip. I can show that real quickly in just a moment. I'll just load that up. Turn this down. I'm going to load this up here. Donkey Kong's going to go flying in the air. Almost ready over here. Now once you go in, this is what you're greeted with. If you push X, you can disable sound. If you push left or right on the D-pad, you can change the frame skip. I'm going to add three. Then if I go back down to what I was playing, which I think was diamond, it should load up. We can probably get rid of all the writing in the background in due time within an update. Frame rate should increase all that stuff. Your ROM starts running. From what I know, your save should be good. I turned off the volume, which means it should run better. As you can see, volume's up. I pushed X before I started it. And the volume's not enabled. Should get better frame rate. It only makes sense. It's only processing video as opposed to audio. So it should run a little better. It does look a little choppy. There's only so much you can do about that. Some games run better than others as we were saying. I'm looking at here. Donkey Kong. It runs at a fairly decent rate. It's playable I'd say. I was jumping around. I finished one level. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification icon. Let everybody know what the Nintendo Switch is actually capable of. If you need instructional videos, how to get homebrew running, there is tutorials up on the channel here. So just take a look. It's not hard to find. Many more videos to come. I may take the time to actually release some gameplay videos tomorrow. Go through a couple of games, show you which ones work. Maybe even go through a couple of games that don't. It all depends. I'd rather go through most of the games that work instead of having the switch crash or restart in the process. Yes, that does happen. It's just a little bug. It's not a big deal. You just restart your switch. RCM payload back into homebrew and start up them emulators. Now, if you also want to find out how to get Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance, excuse me, running on your Nintendo Switch, there are tutorials up on the channel for that. And both those emulators, I would say, are probably running three to four times better than the Nintendo DS. The sound is running a lot better. As for saving, it's a little different, it's a little more tedious, but it does work for those. We also got Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, um, old arcade games with the PFBA emulator. There's tutorials for that. So as you can tell, we have Virtual Machine running. Everything is good to go. Hope you enjoy. Have a good weekend. 
I know why, Will. I'm taking time to have some fun. Take care, you guys. Peace.